piece. Okay, we pull the knee in, we extend the knee. We want to be at the point where the hip is flexed enough that the knee is not straight. Notice, the hip is flexed here, the knee could be straight. You want to flex the hip more so that the knee cannot extend completely. From here, we're going to do two movements. One movement is to try to pull the knee extended without getting to the point where the knee can completely extend. This looks like a front kick with the ball of the foot. The other movement, we actually extend the knee straight and this looks like a kick with a heel. Notice, here the ball of the foot and here the heel. You can think of those two kicks as a point of reference. So this is the leverage, this is the target. Notice when we go into the target, we want to be at the point where the knee has to go so a little bit of tension before extending. If we're here, it's very easy to extend. If we're all the way here, we may not do it. We want to be at the point where we have to go so about half an inch, forcing it through. So, leverage, target. Same thing on the other side. This is the leverage, this is the target. Kicking with the ball of the foot for leverage, extending the knee completely straight, kicking with the heel as a target. We start by flexing the knee as much as possible and flexing the hip as much as possible. Here we want to pull the quadricep into the chest. Once you have the quadricep pulled into the chest as much as possible, we want to extend the knee. Okay. Now as we're extending the knee, we want the hip to be flexed as much as possible. We do not want to let go of the hip flexion. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is the following. We're in this position. If we keep the foot in this position, not here, not here, not here, foot in this position, and we try to extend, the knee does not extend all the way. However, this is too much. In other words, we want about half an inch where the knee cannot extend. Here, it's too large of a distance, the angle is too big. If you bring it here, it's very easy to extend, okay? So, we were just here and now we're here. We have to find a position somewhere between them where we can extend, but there's a small distance that we can't. So, this is an ideal position. So, we're gonna come back to this position right here, okay? This is where it is. We're gonna pull. Quick jerk, come back to here where we were and push on the knee. Again, quick pull, come back here and push on the knee. Let's try that. So let me demonstrate the tempo. This is a tempo. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, this is a tempo. However, we're gonna go a little bit slower. Just to get the target and leverage adjusted. Leverage and target. Leverage and target. Leverage and target. Good. And let's switch sides. Okay. Now we can keep the other leg straight or we can bend it. It really does not matter at this point. Okay, if you're very flexible, you would want that leg straight because it's going to help into your pelvic shift and that's going to help to stretch the hamstring a little bit more. That's if you're very flexible. Okay, so ready? And leverage and target. Leverage and target. Leverage and target. Excellent. Okay, once you go to step two and step three, and we do multiple leverages and multiple targets. If you don't feel it now, you will start feeling it because you're going to start getting the feeling of the movement once we do a few of them in a row.